Hey Stampers, Diane Dimmich here with DDStamps.com and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the new Thinlet uh, framelits that are out with from Stampin' Up. And this is actually the circle card framelits. These are some of the pieces that you get with it, which are awesome. Um, and I'm probably going to do another video using some of these, but I don't have any wax paper in the house. And I'm hearing that it's they work easier with a little bit of wax paper. So, um, But I will show us a couple other things. So this is the framelit die. This is actually the card base and I've got it on my magnetic plate here but you can see it here um, with a piece of cardstock underneath it. And I will tell you that the first time I ran my thinlet through my framelit I caught my edge of my framelit or my thinlet and it bent it. So you want to make sure that you have it on your clear plate and it's all tucked in neat. It still works so I'm happy about that and I'm really thankful that it wasn't one of my customers that did it because they'd have felt terrible. So it was my own fault but actually when it goes through it squishes it down and it cuts it just fine. My piece of paper that I'm using is a five and a half by six. Um, so this is a great project with 12 by 12 paper because you can get four cards out of one piece of 12 by 12. So you're just going to run it through your Big Shot. I've got mine on my magnetic platform. You do not need to have a magnetic platform. You can just use your regular platform and see how it sounds and you think, woo! But that's just how it is. And when it comes out, you get a card base that looks like this. Let me move this stuff out of my way here. Um, and then it has score lines here and it's cut and so then you just push this back and fold on those score lines and push this forward and that's how you get your big card base. It's very simple, very easy to do um, and it makes a great card, a very quick card. show you real quickly, I did one here with the, um, the snowflakes. I'll put it up there. Um, festive fl flurries, excuse me. And I used, um, on this one, I actually put it through and then I added the embossing folder onto it um, with the snowflakes there. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's gorgeous. A couple little rhinestone embellishments. This is the scallop that comes with the, with the set and a circle punch another scallop of the glittery paper and just a little bit of paper but this was so easy and so fast and so quick and I love the look of it. Um, another card that I did a Halloween theme one this one I actually punched out the middle and then I added a, a little label using one of the labels from the framelits and the beware stamp from that Halloween set but I think that's turned out really cute. I love this look and I love the look of the um, of the framelits with those little dangly things in there. I've done a couple others here. I've got this one, birthday card, using again the scallop and then the big um, two and a half inch circle punch that we have layers right inside there too um, nicely and gives you a nice edge um, and added some designer paper. And this little banner is from the other framelit set that we have. The banners are like my favorite. Um, here's a circle one that I did and this was actually a mistake but I kind of played around with it till I made it what I wanted it to be but you can see how the the card dangles and the snowflake spins it's kind of cute and then this is a this was the other label for thinlet that we've got and this is one of the banners that I like I was telling you I just love the banners I think they're so cute and um, just a really quick card now the other thing that you can do with them and I'm going to show you real quickly is you can make a card here's a card base but when you open it up, it actually opens up bigger. And what you need for that is a piece of five and a half by eight and a half, just like a regular card. Only this time, you're gonna take that five and a half inch paper and it's gonna come through the other. See how I pulled it up away from the cutting edge. So it comes up through the middle of the card and then you set your frame lit up, put your plate on, make that awful cracking sound, doesn't that sound just horrible? But when you pull this off, you get a card base, and pull it through, and it does have kind of a little crease on here, right here. That's actually where you're going to fold your cardstock, so it's fine anyway. Um, my magnetic plate, but again, you fold it here, you fold it here, 
And then there actually is a crease that you can see, and you fold it there. There's your card base. Just a fun way to make it just a bigger card. And then I, of course, embellished it with stamps, inks, and papers. So there you have it. Just a little quick tutorial on how to use the thinlets. Um, if you're interested, sign up for my newsletter. I've got lots of information in there. And also subscribe to me on, Facebook, on YouTube on my channel. Thank you.